There are three kinds of abuse that I want to highlight. Three kinds of abuse. The first of them is the worst of them, or it, you think it's the most worst, the worst of them, is physical abuse. That is absolutely out of the question. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa outright, لَا تَضْرِبُوا إِمَاءَ Allah. Do not hit the female slaves of Allah. Outright. Do not hit the female slaves of Allah. Now Allah, Allah's Messenger could have said, لَا تَضْرِبُوا nisa. Don't hit women. Right? Don't hit women. Because the female slaves of Allah are women. But the power of those words is that you know when you, say, when you call them female slaves of women, uh, female slaves of Allah, then you, their relationship fundamentally, who, are, who owns them? Allah does. And when you mess with someone else's property, like if you destroy my car, you haven't offended my car, who have you offended? You've offended me. If you came after my child, you haven't just insulted my child or abused my child, you've abused who? Me, I will come after you, you understand? If they are Allah's property, and you hit them, who is coming after you? Allah, لا تضربوا إما Allah. Watch it, they belong to Allah. That's what the Messenger says So physical abuse is absolutely out of the question. It is out of the question. The second kind of abuse is emotional. And emotional abuse could be verbal. It could be when the husband is not around, the in-laws come along and say, by the way, you're just here for a little bit. We can get rid of you whenever we want. That's my son. And when the husband's home, then how are you? You're so sweet, you're so kind. And this girl's going crazy like, when he's not around, they turn into the devil. And when he's around, they turn into an angel. So when I try to tell my husband that they're crazy, he says, what are you talking about? They're so nice. You're crazy. <laughs> and this is a kind of emotional abuse. A husband and wife have to have a trusting relationship. They have to. If, if you don't have trust, you have nothing. There's nothing there. This, entire, the, the, this is not a blood relationship. Marriage is a contract, which means you agreed to share a life together. And that requires the utmost amount of trust. If you can't even trust what she's saying to you, if you think that she's lying to you all the time, then what makes this marriage a marriage is not there. It's not there. For you to say, oh, I can't believe that, I can't believe that. Oh, well, you, if you can't believe it, then I don't know if you're in the right marriage. There's something fundamentally wrong. Something far deeper than just abuse. There's not even a trust left inside the marriage. Emotional abuse is sometimes verbal, and sometimes it's not even verbal. Sometimes it's the way you're looked at. Sometimes it's the way people sit around you. She comes into the room, they get up and walk away. They don't even turn their face this way. They change the tone of their voice. Sometimes even the way in which you say, Wa alaykum as -salam. She says, Assalamu alaykum, mother-in-law says, Wa alaykum as -salam. <laughs> Or she doesn't say anything at all. That's a pretty abusive statement, to not say anything at all. And then she can turn around and say, Mene kya kai? What did I say? I didn't say anything. That's emotional abuse. And it's unacceptable. The last of the abuses though, is the scariest one to me. And that's spiritual abuse. When the wrong is done, and then the religion is quoted. Allah says you have to be good to parents. This is what Islam teaches you. And they'll, they'll do the wrong, and then they'll invoke Allah and His book, and His Messenger وسلم, who are completely innocent of this nonsense. And then that's, that, that's the, the religious or spiritual kind of blackmail and abuse that goes on in families. This needs to come to an end in your family. Look, our, our parents are not evil. They're not. They were brought up in a certain culture. They were brought up in a certain environment. They have certain norms that they've come to become used to. And some of those things are not right, but they don't realize that. They just do what they think in their mind is right. They're not. Nobody's purposely evil. They're not, even though some women believe that about their in-laws. Nobody's intentionally evil. Everybody just thinks from a di very different point of view. You, however, are in the middle. You're in the middle of two worlds that are pulling at you. And you're gonna have to just, you ha you're gonna have to be the voice of reason and justice. And you know what that means? Sometimes you're gonna have to take the side of your parents. And sometimes you're gonna have to take the side of your wife. Because nobody's always right. And sometimes you will make a mistake too, and then you'll have to admit that you made a mistake. That's gonna have to happen too. Which means the role that you are in, this middle role that you're in, is a very difficult one, and it's a role in which you will constantly be the object of criticism. Somebody will criticize you all the time. Because 
whatever decision you make, upset someone. Somebody will, congratulations on being a man. That's what, what it comes with. That's the role you have to play. Men are supposed to be not only there for their women in terms of caretaking and protection, they're supposed to give their women a sense of purpose and direction. They're actually supposed to, in a sense, even be mentors to their wives. Mentors to them, advisors to them. This is what you should do. Hey, I, let, let me help you fulfill this goal or that goal. How many times there are, especially in, in abusive family situations, there are women that used to have goals. I want to, I want to start an orphanage, I want to do this, I want to write a book, I want to do that. And they don't get to do any of it. Who is supposed to encourage them and open up that door for them and say, yeah, you, you should do it. I know you make a mean paratha, but you can also write a book. You should, you should work on that. Who was supposed to encourage them and do that? That was supposed to be the husband. He was supposed to open that door. You know? And so may Allah Azza wa give us that delicacy so that we can really truly fulfill the words of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ وَأَنَا خَيْرٌ مِنْكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ The best of you are the best to their families. Right? And I'm the best of you to my family. May Allah Azza wa make us better and better families and make us do right by our families. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Hakim wa nafa'ali wa iyakum bil ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.